you're out there running around chasing whatever it is. You had your little adventure. You played your squeak, squeak toy. You tried to lose Raman. Raman, for some reason, didn't, didn't get lost. Still with you. And suddenly, this really small goat comes up to you and goes, Grease, Grease, I must take you to your friends. They need you. He opens up this portal and says, This is the shorts cut. I will let you choose. This will help you find your friends. What do you do? He opens up a portal. Mm-hmm. I can choose. It's best for you to go in. Oh, yeah, yeah. You want to go too? No. I grab him by the scruff of the neck and I drag him through with me. By the way, you weren't here. This goat will fuck you up. That's a natural 20. <laughs> what does that make your total? <laughs> Woo-hoo. 20. Uh, we're going to okay. see here with uh, <laughs> a wisdom save. Yeah. That is a, from this uh, older sheet, we'll do a, that. So. Well, here's the problem. Since it's a natural 20, he's successful. Yeah. And you are now cursed. Uh, you are basically rolling uh, with disadvantage until you can lift this curse. Blamer, we are adults and use adult language, which has ironically not matured. We will have and discuss adult situations. Whether this is offensive is all on you. Welcome to the Necromantic Empire. Areolas Vacation. The three of you are basically walking out of the, the shop or wherever it was you were. Bluter Knife is vibrating away, and suddenly this portal appears. Out plops Kreeth, Ramen, and uh, Kubota. You weren't supposed to do that. And starts walking away. I throw him back through the portal then. Okay, roll again. <laughs> 16. Okay, you're unable to grab him, and he just walks off. Oh, hi, guys. Hey, it's good to see you. Where'd you hey, go? Grace. I was chasing things in the field. I thought you were behind me. No, you were chasing things in the field. I'd never keep up. Oh, yeah. yeah I could, but, but I didn't. If I'll you weren't on you top go. of you, we're not with you. <laughs> <laughs> right, but I think there's still there's a part of this quest I have to finish up, Kreeth, and it's going to get real embarrassing real fast for me. Um, so give me just a moment. I have to sing to the sword uh, in order to fix it. Ah. Uh, all right, here we go. Let me in Ashline, like Sean Seber, sucked be in Ashline, so sucked Ashline, sucked be in. Let me in Ashline, like Sean Seber. Sucked high in a slight, so shocked a slight, sucked benign. Let me then The sword pulls out of the sheath. The song is just radiating from it. You see the, the red light dims. So sucked a slight, so again. And it falls back into the sheath. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> now roll your uh, your performance here. Oh, the skill! I I do have a point in that. Holy okay. shit! A dirty twenty. <sighs> a dirty twenty. Go ahead and roll two twenty sliders. Oh. Don't have Kreeth roll it. A nineteen and a seven. Okay, so you get that much gold thrown at your feet. Thank you. Thank you very much. I have one hit point. Oh, God. I advise everybody to head back to your little apartment, hotel, whatever you want to call it, and go for a long rest. It's about all the time you have left. Yes. Yeah, I think that's the best idea. That. Yeah. Is there food? Always. Here, I got the cornucopia. You want it? Mm-hmm. I just dump some of it out. Yep. And one more. And then start to devour that. All right, right, right here, and then remember, we're going back to the apartment, and I'll pour out more later. Long story short, you, you make it there, Kreeth gorges, throws up, eats it again, and you have your eight-hour rest. Rest. Is there any other things you want to do to try to buff yourself up before you move on to where you're supposed to be going? Um, but on the way back, I do take, like, I take Blue Knife out of the sheath, look at it a couple times, like, is that different? Surprisingly quiet at the moment. Weird. Yeah. 
like the tip on it and everything again? Tip is still or? broken it's off. It's gone, okay. Yep. But it hasn't Sorry. exploded, so that is excellent. Yeah, we pass out for the night, I think, yes, after pass that. out for the night. Instead of waking up, you find yourself in the fabulous line, fully refreshed. Everything's nice. Bluter knife is sleeping in, in your sheath. Ramen is, is, is doing circles and peeing on the floor as usual. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. tenets of Ariolus. These laws guide us all. One. Ariolus first. Two. Follow the desires of your superiors. Three. Keep the mana pure. Four. Do not rise above your station. Five. Nobody's going to say anything about this. I mean, Six. I this. Money is how many times? Blah, 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 blah. Seven. Seven, eight, nine, Men ten, lost. I don't care. Eight. What's going on? No race shall yeah, usurp the supremacy of uh, elvish kind. The slap and the laws are derived from the eight tenets. Be sure to what's know your tenets. Ignorance oh, yeah, of the we law gotta go. is unjustified. Let's see, we tried going through... What are our last two doors again, Kreeth? Four and eight. Four and eight. Ah. Do we want to do four? Hit four or do eight? I don't think it's four. I feel like we no, did, did four we? also. Last time I checked. It's a... Uh, Five and eight. Yep. Five and eight. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. There. Okay. Uh, number five or number eight, team? (laughs) They're both my favorite numbers. Five. Okay. Five it is. Sure. Gray matter. Gray matter. What? Help! I'm probably going to be ticking a problem. The future is now. It's calling you on your scry. Oh, shit. You can see that coming now? Oh, answer. That's cool. Gray matter. You're needed back at the compound. We're having issues with the production of needle bombs. It seems the crew that works is incapable of solving the issues. Oh. Okay. Be prepared to be summoned. V estas alvoquita. V estas alvoquita. When, when did, when did we get a manufacturing you, needle bombs? Being summoned. Being summoned. You. Oh, whoa. Oh. Gray matter's fading. Oh, no. Where'd they go? I think gray matter was called back to the office. Wow. I didn't know you could do that here. I didn't know that either. That would have made it a lot easier wait, wait, if they just... They said they were producing needle bombs? Yeah, I'm a little upset I haven't been getting... I've been getting them fresh from the source, though. I can't really be that mad. Right. Uh, they said a compound. Yeah. Uh, like a compound, like a military place or a cult or what? It's hard to tell. It's, military, maybe? Oh. It's Chemical. Nigel. It could literally be his rec room for all we know. Chemical compound? Ooh. Molecular compound. Ooh, molecular. Gray matter is really smart. That makes sense. Yep, yep. Oh, it must be underground. Molecular. Get it? Mole. Uh, yeah, dig. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that makes sense to me. Wait, what'd you say? Mole. Oh, no. Not the other door. No, no, no. Not here. I not start, here in line. Start digging a hole as much as I can. Kreeth, wait. No. Kreeth, look. Look. See, see the shiny, Kreeth? See the shiny? Roll, roll yeah. that. Uh, mind you, it's with disadvantage. So. 11. Okay. You don't get anywhere. <laughs> the future is now. And it's calling you on your scry, TM. Yeah, me? Like, oh, okay, hang on. Hello, Hogan's underwear. Keep it brief. Captain Hogan, you are to continue your mission. Um, we have some complications setting the dragons up on the border. We must make sure that everything is ready. Ah, uh, we are on. We are on our mission. We Great. had to take a small moment to adjust the uh, the sword. Did you know the sword turned into, like, an evil world-ending, like, entity? No. Um, what sword? The... Never mind, it's all good. Did something happen? You, you, you look different. You look taller. Oh, that was so long ago. Wow. Really? What do you mean? I saw you only last week, and you were knee-high to me. Oh. Oh. Wow, it's been so much that's happened. Yeah, one of Grey Matter's potions uh, permanently doubled my size. Ah, uh, yes. Good. Um, as long as the research is there. Uh, make sure you take out the proper tower after you finish the last door. Goodbye. 
Uh, uh, yeah, well, on it, on it, boss, on it. Anybody seen a big tower around? Uh, we've been out. We're in a hallway, so there's not really any towers. Yeah, I'd say go outside and look, see if there's any towers. I made a tower oh, one yeah, time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that, that was a lot of poop, though. Your, your, it was. Your, your thing, your, your cloak, your spider thingy. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're, we're still in line, though. Yeah, uh, we're not going to be able to get out of the line either. Uh, no. no. Kind of once you're in, you're in. So we're going to have to get through this. Then I got to go figure out what towers are going on. Southern border. Southern border. Oh, shit, they're getting ready to do an invasion. Yeah, the southern border. You're wearing the area list and you go south. It's the Empire. And you said something about dragons? Dra- dra- dragons. Yeah, something about dragons. Yeah, yeah, dragons. Yeah. I haven't seen Tchotchke in a few days. I hope he's doing well. Hopefully, hopefully. No Tchotchke. He's only eaten you once. Twice? Once. You have seven days left of your vacation adventure. Just one time. I don't like Tchotchke. Seven? I thought you had, like, two. I think the advance went through that we were thinking about and hum-hawing over. Did you ever fill that paperwork out? I think I did. Sent that in a while ago. It's been like three dungeons ago. Okay. At least two dungeons. I know that. Two dungeons? Please choose from any of these eight doors. Be aware that you are not allowed to choose the same door twice. Ever. Um, excuse me. Hi. Hi. Are, 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 you, are you a goblin? Or what, what are you? Yeah, I'm a goblin. Touch. He's a real tall goblin. You know what they say about goblins with big hands and big feet, right? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Shoes are expensive. He very. Oh, my God. I'm the nose. The dog got it. High five. Wait, I don't have arms. <laughs> Here, I can still high five you. Flat side. All right. Oh, pink. Yeah. Are you guys going to room five? Yeah, we're going to. We just had a. You know, this is a good coincidence. We just had someone uh, teleport away. So, would you be willing to maybe uh, join us? Who, who, and what are you? Like, what do you do? I, I am um, painted green. If you noticed, um, I'm a health health fighter. Half health fighter? <laughs> yes. Do we feel good about a half health fighter again? Yeah. What's the other half? Yeah, I only see two feet. Are you? Are you half work? What? No. I'm sorry, is it going to matter that I'm a goblin? You're like, so like... So, who are you and what do you want? And why are you painted green? She's hitting on you, that's all. I'm I'm a fan of goblins. You got a groupie. You got a groupie. Oh, Well, I didn't, I don't don't know. You're kind of tall. Well, I I guess, I think it's going to... That's my line. Yeah, that... Excuse (laughs) us. Yes. (laughs) Yes, pardon us. We're in the middle of a conversation. Thinking Knowles, man. <sighs> All right. Uh, I mean, you know what? Anybody else against? I'm not. Um, all in favor, raise your hand. I. Uh, I'm a horse. I don't have hands. Sorry, raise, raise your, your hoof. Paw. Me either. Awfully inclusive. Raise your paw. Raise, raise your digit. Shake. Hilt. Shake. Yeah, shake. Good boy. Good boy. Um, okay, that's, that's three, I guess. Yeah. Uh, uh, All right. Cookie? Cookie, was that a, was that a hoof up or no? Or hoof down? Yes. All right. Uh, wait a minute. What's your name? Oh, Gob... Gob... I like to go by Gobletta. Bless you. <laughs> Gobletta, the half-elf, who's painted themselves green. This is Thank strikingly you. Please racist. Please make sure you record your new <laughs> ticket designation. Aureolis is not responsible for lost or forgotten ticket designations. Failure to do so will result in loss of any ticket upgrades. Keep track of your life tokens. Oh, looks like this adventure yeah, recommends... Yeah, here we go. Four tokens. Oh, that should be easy. You guys can you breeze right through that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my stats changed not long ago, so I've noticed I've gotten hit a couple times since then, and it's... Oh, it's upsetting. Yeah, yeah. Well, all right, Goblina, I guess you're with us. It's okay. Gobletto, like a cup. Ah, you know what? I like that. Gobletta. Like a cup. Like a cup? A cup. Yeah, like a goblet. Okay. But with an A at the end, you know? I kind of like it. Yeah. 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 No reference to anything else. 
Yeah, definitely reference to cup and not goblins, right, Gobletta? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. As oh. long as they stay away from my man. Oh shit! They're opening the. Okay, the next group just went ahead, so I think we're next, gang. Yeah, there's been no like time signatures or anything. I don't know why. Oh well. Do, 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 do. Yep. At least we haven't gotten that weird radio show that they do once in a while. Oh, that's so yeah. annoying. You yeah. probably spoke too soon or late or something, you know. And this is where we might have to do it again, so yeah. Uh, the show is simulcast in uh, common. Back. You are tuned into Radio Los 8 News. We appreciate you. As I say we have, that's and if right. you question me, we'll have one fewer. Because they're the greatestest. The goodest. The goodest. The bestest. That's right. In all of the nine realms. Because we're the best. Yeah. There's only two realms. Technically three. Eight. Three? There's eight districts. I thought it was eight. That's what I meant. (laughs) thousand percent. Uh, Hey, we have some really good news coming up. It turns out Ethan IV, the prophet, uh, several uh, centuries ago, uh, was able to come up with an... uh, foresee the future and uh, it turns oh. out uh, it's coming true the shard has been found we found the shard of prophecy that's right the shard of prophecy nice we're still it's waiting for the direction it's gonna go yep we don't know at this point why do we not know well because it's held up by the senate uh, <laughs> fine well you know you're the one who put them there they're the ones who have to do what they have to do i know i'm just impatient True, We've been waiting true. for so long, and now we get it, and then we have to wait for bureaucracy. I know, I know, right, right. I know. Well, I think it has something to do with it. They don't know if it's actually congealed in its actual form. It is flaming. We have that guaranteed, uh, okay. but we don't know if what the actual material is. We don't know its hue? Correct. But we need to know that. Well, as long as we can verify that it's consuming the uh, horicillium, uh, we should be good. Yes. A, that's a good, like, crossword yeah. word. I know. Yeah, as a matter of fact, it was only in the paper. Oh. So that's the only reason. Yeah, I... Calico. I, I feel like I call it, like, aura calcum. But I've done that one, too. It's, it's a weird word. I, I pay fancier people to pay you. Yeah. you know, I use aura calcum powder when I'm chafing. Me. My entourage said aura chillium one time, but it's like, that's... <laughs> Please. I know, right? You get some class. But it's eating it. Yes. Good. Yes. All right. Mm-hmm. All things are going along according to the prophecy. The prophecy. And we'll have more information on that coming up soon. So that makes a great segue. Remember being at Rat the other, uh, the other day? I do. Yes. You didn't find the little scraggly one you wanted to take on. No, yeah. they were... Sometimes things can be a little too scraggly. Sometimes well, things can be a little too pathetic. If you don't click with your cat, you might as well put it back. I'm not going to settle. <laughs> no, no. Uh, but it turns out the, the rescue, the rescue alt vaccines is working out really well. The shelters are almost empty. They're just oh. wonderful. Everything's going great. I didn't know where that went. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. I love hearing oh, the yeah. Oh, yeah. How many tabaxis have you guys adopted? And, and they're not being constrained in that shelter. None? What are they going to do with the shelters after empty? There might be a housing problem. Who knows? Didn't but at the same time, one? they are large enough. And get this. Ooh, you guys got one. What color was it? Griffin's. Yeah. His kind of rubber. dingy gray. It was kind yes, of like the fur was falling out. It wasn't a, all the graduate wizards oh, was a whole litter of them like that. We kind of passed. Just have the oh. pick of the crop. The best Griffins out there. Oh. And they're kind of enough. I take so a I Griffin. People running around like losers when they could be flying. On their That's what I named my Tabaski. As they're supposed the next to. conflict. Yes. Which we are expecting. Because that's the whole reason we're doing this. Well, you prepare for war, right? Yeah. Yes. And if you don't have a war, then what's the point? Well, you don't want to just make some toys and not use them. Right. War's the yeah, point. That's what I've been saying this whole time. <laughs> Whoa. And everything's everything's <laughs> coming out great in that manner. So uh, we could actually take some of these shelters and uh, and then uh, build these uh, build them into. Uh, what do you keep horses in? Stables. Stables. I think that's we can it. repurpose them. And I know that no matter what, they're easy to clean. Mm-hmm. We may not be able to get the smell out, but as far as I understand it, most things with beaks can't smell. So it's not important. Exactly. Just smell. Yeah, we just, All know, kinds of things smell. The stables yeah. might have to handle a bit of tabaxi stink. Oh, luckily with our crew of cleaning uh, uh, associates associates out there, well, they can't generally smell anyway, so oh, yeah. we'll be fine there. They'll be taking every care of everything, cleaning the city streets, cleaning the, the gutters, cleaning everything. 
when we were trying to figure out how to how to handle the uh, the waste and custodial problem, we wanted to find the perfect fit, much like trying to find your perfect tabaxi. Exactly. And, and we found a good source of reliable, consistent, you know, uh, I'm going to say nonsensical, only in the sense that they don't have many senses. True, true. Yeah. And so they get the work done, and they don't complain. And we also don't have to pay them that much. It's pretty great. The efficiency is wonderful, and it practically pays for itself. It should. So uh, a shout out to all the people out there who keep our kingdom sparkling clean. We would like started. you to hear this, but you'll have to wait. Yep. We we appreciate how pure you keep this. That's right. What's your favorite hashtag? <laughs> hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag we appreciate you. <laughs> all right. Thanks for listening. He's not I even need hiding need it now. Until next time. This is Vore at Four. That's it for this edition of Voices of the Royal Emissary. Get more Vore at Four. We will see you then. This has been another installment of Voices of the Royal Emissary. Thanks for listening to Arayolos 8 News. Have a great day, or not. I adopted two tabaxi. Where are they? This belly. I yeah. I well, they were one of them was, mm-hmm. and then I buried the other one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sounds like you played way too rough with them, kid. Well, they took a nap, and it the the long nap. Yeah. Yeah. Was it was it a real long nap? It was really big nap. Yeah. Uh-huh. Did you see yeah. flies? No, I would have ate them too. Well, that's nice. Adventurer, please stand back. Your adventure awaits. Do not proceed until the doors have fully opened. Remember, adventurer, you are yeah, on your own you once you cross the threshold to adventure. Make sure you have open. your life. Hey, right here, I on. rush in. Oh, well, let's head on in. Promotional cobalt here. No, down here. Lower. They eat. Hi, I'm Hook. I'm here to play promotional spot for another D&D podcast. We here at the Necromantic Empire. Enjoy. So, if you have enjoyed this show, please check out the following podcast. Hey, listener. Do you like this podcast but wish their bad Aussie accents were real so you could hear them do bad American accents instead? Level Down is an Aussie actual play D&D podcast where we explore the layered world of lasagna through miniseries DM'd by each of our five players. From underworld quests fueled by hatred of paperwork to a secretive mafia run by cows, we have something for everyone. And if we don't, just wait. The newest crazy is just one level down. First one in. It's very dark and foggy. You rush in, you, you run, you run, you run, you run, you run, you run. Uh, what the, was everybody else doing? I'm following and just kind of trying to keep my eyes peeled a little bit so I can see exactly where I'm going. All right. As you walk in, the walls are a dark stone, like cobbles. Uh, you know, the very moss grown. There's a like Spanish moss and various other things. It's kind of damp and moist. Uh, probably like twilight sort of light. If it gives you an idea where it's at. You can hear like wolves howling in the background. Every now and then, it sounds like a thunder strike or something. <laughs> what was the fifth? The fifth tenant again? Grief. I lost my note for it. Do you remember? Dun, 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 dun. No slander superiors. Oh, no slander superiors. Mm-hmm. Fuck the police coming straight from the underground. No, that's copyrighted, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, probably. Remember, you get ten uh, seconds and you can say it if you want. You just don't can't do it to the music. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. So you go down this long hallway. Yeah. Um, well, okay. Uh, Kreese, you hit the door. What do you do? I hit it harder. Okay, roll then. It's a disadvantage. Let's see if you hurt yourself. Why is he doing that? Natural one. Oh, Kreef is... This is kind of what he's like. Roll damage. Yeah, Kreef is just very excitable. Uh, he likes to jump into situations. Okay. He's ready for uh, action at all times. Uh, before he does it again, I would like to try and stop him. You have to catch up to him. You have to do that. Oh, Cookie, will, will you help me catch up to him? Why? Before, he, before he beats himself, silly. Oh, this is no, probably for the that. best. Yeah. Yeah, just let him do it. Oh. Keith, did you just take a... Yep. 
Yep, he hurt himself. Oh, that. Oh, 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 he hurt himself. Oh, oh, you guys are free. bad pet. Uh, bad. Uh, Mixed emotions bad cares, of being praised man. and hurting. Wait, uh, did you did you just try to say that Kreeth was our pet? What else would he be? Holy shit! <laughs> no, Kreeth is a teammate. Kreeth is great. Oh. He's a lord. He can think for himself, right, Kreeth? Yeah. Me? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, oh. see, he has so many thoughts going on. There's definitely stuff between his ears. Food, chase, fetch, <laughs> sit. Sit. <laughs> see, he thinks for himself. Isn't that right, Kreef? Oh. You know you don't have to do those things when people yeah. say it, right? What? Shake. That, that, see what I mean? You don't have to do that. It's a cool trick, but you don't have to every time. But... Communication's really important, right? Yeah, that's why we use words, silly. Yeah. I yeah. did. <laughs> All over. Some concepts do take Kreeth a while longer than others. Go up and rub his belly and good, good boy. <laughs> I bite your arm play biting. It's not very play. <laughs> yeah, so Kreeth's a little sensitive about the belly after a certain procedure. Oh, no, I uh, play biting, but... I'm just really big and strong and full of energy. Fair, so. fair, fair, fair. Yeah. Now that you mentioned the surgery, we're probably going to need those bag of bags. Yeah, we're going to need the bag of bags. And they're not here. Nope. You know who had them? Yep. Uh, what else did Grey Matter take with them? Mostly all of Grey Matter's stuff. They had, like, potions that they probably hadn't handed us out yet. Um, did we get any more of those nice bombs? We got one. I gave Grey Matter flash paper. <sighs> Oh, yeah, we've got one of the knife bombs that people have been manufacturing fresh, right from the source. <laughs> oh, I'm saving this what one. What do you mean, manufacturing? What were they manufacturing? Well, uh, I overheard a call that Gray was getting. Apparently, there's a compound manufacturing them now. Has Gray not been doing stuff we're unaware of? It's not like they left our presence. They were broke. They were in debt. How could they start another thing? I mean, I think they were just called back to the office, more or less. Okay. Captain. Yeah, right. When did that happen? I don't know. What do I mean by captain? Last time I heard anything, I was an intern. Yeah. As far as I know, you're an intern. I haven't done shit. I haven't done shit, and I've oh, been promoted. You did that. You've done a lot of that. Ooh, last night, ooh, uh, had to take me in the bathroom with each bastard. Well, if I leave you somewhere, someone else will just take the fucking rest of you. You can smell too? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, the sword. I know how much money's around here. Yeah. yeah you never go. you never heard the sniff? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. All right, gang. Well, we know the layout of the dungeon. Let's just make start making our way around from room to room where the treasure's at. Which way are we going to go? Which treasure do you want? Uh The big treasure's in like the, the big bad guy room northwest. The Level. small treasure. Yeah. Yeah, we should go meander a little bit. Yeah, okay, meander. You know, I'm really shocked there aren't any, like, wandering monsters in these dungeons when they put them together. Everybody just sits in their, like, cubicles and waits. So, you walk into that room, which is, of course, the uh, large hallway. Well, not hallway. Uh, what would you call it? Um, ballroom with the... Yeah. Vestibule. The, the eight, grand eight hall. The pillars and the statue in the center and the throne at the one end that yep. does, does you and the four doors. Yep. Um, Every room's a bathroom. True, true. And I go pee in a corner. Okay. You pee in a corner. <laughs> Uh, while you're peeing, roll, uh, roll You notice. should teach him not to do that. Why? What would be the point? Shouldn't he go to the bathroom? I... Gobletta, I... I know you're half-elf pretending to be a goblin. Like, we made that clear when we first met. But we're still legit monsters. 16. Not me. I'm a horse. I'm a regular horse. Regular horse. <laughs> Use yeah. The statue 100% normal, really weird. everyday horse. Seems weird. Yeah. Let them don't, finish, don't stab me. I saw nothing. You're right. You didn't see anything because I'm a normal horse and there's nothing to see. Yep. <laughs> Those eyes. Yes. All right. So you roll uh, as you're urinating. The statue seems weird. The statue in the center, which seems to be kind of a quartz sort of material. It's kind of angel-like, has a big sword. What's up, Kreeth? I look up and down at the statue. Okay. Cock my head at it. Ooh. 
put my paws up on it, start giving it kisses. Okay. Uh, at that point, go ahead and roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Should the rest of us as well? Yes. I've never seen a stone statue go, nope, stop, quit it. Uh, uh, 15? 8. 19? 18. The statue of an angel uh, seems to be made out of a quartz material. It's holding a sword with the end in the ground. As Kreeth jumps up, it puts his paws on the shoulders. It flinches back, flips the sword in one way, gets into its really anime position with the sword in a funky stance, the one leg uh, cocked up, the two wings in opposite areas. I hope you're enjoying this episode of the Necromantic Empire TM. Our cast is Alex Swart as Nigel Gamatar, Blue Jackson as Leroy Jenkins, Jeremiah Freeman as Kreef, Rapunzel the Lettuce as Cookie, Robin Fry as Ram Man, Sam Sturgeon as Hogan Savage, Victoria Fish as Grey Matter, your district manager is John Simon. Additional voices by Kate Maxwell and Rachel Kearns. Music by Socially Awkward. In 400 feet, take a left turn into Misery Drive. Find them on SoundCloud by searching Socially Awkward. Mid-2000s experimental music, Chicago Bulls hat. He can be found at WSN Podcast on Twitter. Artwork by Joshua Allen. Find more of his work on Instagram at Faceless Cow. You can reach us at the Necromantic Empire at gmail.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. If you'd like to help support the show, check out our Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash time of your half-life. This has been the Radioactive Shack Production. This will probably all be cut. Doodly doodly doo. It is somewhere we have moved a bunch of stuff while we were reorganizing, so it's probably either in the kitchen or along this wall. Or is it underneath the wall? No. Okay.